Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. When did you and Amanda meet each other? I met her about one year ago. So you met her right after you got to school? That's right. We've been dating since last September. Hi, John. I haven't seen you for ages. Hi. Yes, it's been a long time. I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. How have you been? Just fine. How is everything with you? Not bad. I finally bought a house. It's an old one, but built really solid. It is close to here. Do you want to come over for lunch? I'd like that, but I'm flying home this afternoon, and I told my parents I'd meet them at the airport for lunch. Okay, next time you're here. That's a deal. I heard that you moved to Florida. Yes, I'm in Titusville. The space shuttle is launched from near there. I've seen a lot of space shuttle launches. Tell me more. The shuttle launches are beautiful. I saw one that took off at midnight. The whole sky got bright. Sounds great. I'm pretty happy living there. I want to see Disney World, Sea World, Universal Studios, and Wikiwachi Springs. I've been to all of them. I'm jealous. I've never been to Florida. The Sunshine State certainly is worth visiting. Come down for a vacation sometime. I'll take you to Disney World. That sounds great. I'll take you up on that invitation. I hope you do. And keep in touch, okay? I sure will. Here's my business card. Send me an email once in a while. Count on it. And here's my card. Don't hesitate to call me anytime. Thank you. I'd better get going. I don't want to be late for lunch. Mom would worry. Well, I'm really glad we bumped into each other. Have a good trip. Take good care of yourself, Mary. I will. Goodbye. Bye bye. Have you heard that Tom and his wife divorced? I didn't hear that, but I can deduce the reason. Really? Say it. Tom is a kind guy, but addicted to gambling. He spends all his time gambling in the casino. And his wife can't put up with his incessant gambling any longer, so she divorced him. Is that right? Yeah, quite right. Gambling broke up a happy family. Yeah, gambling is often a curse. By gambling we lose time and treasure, two things most precious to a man. Besides that, many people took to gambling and got in over their heads, and gradually ruined themselves. In a word, gambling is a vice. We should be away from it. Jane, I was wondering if you, you had any plans for Saturday afternoon. A friend and I are planning to go out. Why? What's up? There is a special exhibition of French sculptures at the museum. I was hoping you'd like to come with me. I am afraid I can't. I am going to be out all day. What about Sunday? I wish I could. But it's my mom's birthday. Maybe next week. Much as I'd like to, I am afraid I won't be free next week. I have a lot of work. Sorry to hear that. I was really looking forward to spending some more time with you. I really enjoyed our last chat. I am really sorry too. Maybe I can give you a call sometime.
Why didn't you tell me you had a girlfriend? Sorry, I thought you knew. But you should have told me you were in love with her. Didn't I? You know you didn't. Well, I'm telling you now. Yes, but you might have told me before. I didn't think you'd be interested. You can't be serious. How dare you not tell me you were going to marry her? Sorry, I didn't think it mattered. Oh, you men, you're all the same. How is Jim recently? He has lost his job, and his wife died from cancer not long before. Poor guy. It will take him a long time to get back on his feet. I'm so excited, mother. Oh, a new baby. My first grandchild. And my first nephew. He looks a lot like you, Mom. He does. Do you think so? Well, I guess. He does look a lot like me. Oh, he's got Richard's eyes though. Yes, he does have Richard's eyes. The baby even looks like you than Richard does. Well, children usually resemble their parents. It's true. Michelle is a lot like Henry in so many ways. And she is shy with new people just like he is. You often like comparing children with their parents. You're right. Hi, Susan. Hi, Lily. How is everything? Not so well. I've come down with the flu. I'm sorry to hear that. Take care of yourself. Thank you. I want to meet you. Are you free this evening? Well, actually, I'm not free today. Do you have anything urgent? No, I just want to meet you. How about tomorrow instead? Hmm. That's all right. Shall we meet at the bar near the beach? All right. See you then. Highway, what are you going to do this weekend? I think I'll stay in on Saturday and rest. Oh, right. How about Sunday? Ah, I'm going to the pub to watch the football. Oh, really? I'll come along with you if that's okay. Sure. You're more than welcome. I'm meeting everyone at 3 o'clock. Oh, great. I'll see you there. John, wait a second. I was just heading downstairs for a cup of coffee. You want to come? I've got some good news. Sure. Let me just grab my wallet. You certainly do look happy this morning. I am. Don't worry about getting your wallet. It's my treat. This is a first. You must have won the lottery. I heard that you went to the concert the day before. How did you like it? It was terrific. The concert was really a hit. The symphony orchestra was so good that I was completely absorbed in their performance. Who was the conductor? Oh, speaking of the conductor, he is indeed a genius. He did a perfect job. His name is Menuhin, a descendant of Russian-American immigrants. Oh, I learned that he is also a legendary violinist. Absolutely right. He gave a performance of Felix Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto. That caused a sensation. The audience were stunned by his pure tone. Obviously you did enjoy the concert. Yes, I did. Julia, 
Will you be my wife? I'm sorry, Stephen. Please, Julia, I have made proposal to you five times. I really want to share the rest of my life with you. I know, but I'm not ready for married life yet. Julia, I really love you. I hope I can stay with you no matter you are happy or sad in future. Your way does touch my heart. So, will you marry me? I want to think of it for some time. Hey, Mary, nice to see you again. I heard you're going back home to the U.S. Yes, I'm leaving tomorrow. I came here just because I want to say goodbye to you. You're so thoughtful. Wish you a good trip home. And we'll miss you. I'll miss you too, my friends. May doesn't get along very well with her mother-in-law. Yeah, that's just what is troubling John. Poor John. He is bettering bother sides of this bread. This situation isn't easy to handle. What does your mother do, may I ask? My mother works in a company as an accountant. Is she busy? Not always. She's rather busy at the end of the year. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.